When I first started on my path to live food, I was so excited to discover all the potential in using vegetables and fruits and nuts and seeds to make delicious dishes like pizza and pasta, tomato chili with taco nut meat, cakes like this one. This is a coconut cake made with a Nutella chocolate fudge sauce frosted with a cashew cream and topped off with coconut and even effervescent probiotic drinks that are delicious like this kefir. And so I was absolutely turned on by raw foods and all the health benefits. They made me feel really great, gave me mental clarity, focus, helped me lose weight without even trying. So it inspired me to develop all my books and recipes so that they would be super simple, very fast and easy to make using just a handful of everyday ingredients. Let me show you how. Welcome to my kitchen. Today, I am gonna show you how to make the freshest, easiest, most delicious raw chili ever. I just got back from the local farmer's market where I picked up beautiful tomatoes, a red bell pepper, a yellow onion, some celery, and mushrooms. Here are two tomatoes, about three cups. I'm gonna put them all into my mixing bowl. And then I'm gonna add about a cup of red bell peppers, also diced. I'm gonna add some yellow onion and some celery. It's all the same ingredients that go into a cooked chili, except this is going to be fresh and super fast and easy and we can enjoy it right away because we don't have any cook time involved. Next, I'm going to add in some mushrooms. It's about two or three mushrooms. I'm going to put some of those in. I'm going to put about um, a third of a cup of corn. And then my spices are basically uh, chili spice for our chili, some cumin, some garlic, and some salt, and then some oregano, dried oregano. And then we're just going to hand mix this. So this is what it looks like. And that's the beauty when we're using all fresh ingredients. All of the produce is just gorgeous. It's like a sunshine rainbow in our bowl. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take about a third of that just to make like a sauce for the chili. I'm going to put it into my blender and puree it. Because right now it sort of has the texture of a salsa. But by pureeing a little bit, it'll um, help tie it all together. And it makes our little sauce, which I will then add to our chili. So that's it. You can see how beautiful that looks and it smells absolutely delicious. So now we're gonna top our beautiful tomato chili with some taco nut meat, which I'm gonna make using walnuts, which are an FDA superfood. They are packed full of antioxidants for fighting free radical damage. So all the vitamins like vitamins A and E that are packed full in these little beautiful walnuts are what builds the collagen in our skin and helps us to uh, combat aging. So I'm going to start by putting some of these walnuts into my food processor. I'm going to be grinding them down into um, small pieces that are about the size of little grisly taco meat, ground meat pieces. I'm going to add some more dry ingredients, our dried coriander and cumin and a little bit of salt. That's our flavor. Okay, a little pulse and a little mix before I add the, the wet ingredients. So I'm going to be adding a little nama shoyu, which is a, a raw soy sauce, to add a little bit of moisture to help bind this together, but also to add a little bit more salt flavor. And then I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil to give it that like grisly cooked meat texture to it. And then I'm just going to use my food processor to mix that up. And that's it. So here's our taco meat. It was that fast and easy to make. It looks just like taco meat. It smells absolutely delicious from the coriander and the cumin. And we're going to be using this to top our chili. Wow. Oh my gosh. And that looks so good. So give it a taste. Mmm. Yum. That's really delicious.